Good morning. It's a pleasure to be here with you today. As the Chief of Communications and Global, I am charged with communicating the statistical information on the market to the media and to the members. And with that, I'm also responsible for producing tools, resources, and assets to help you position yourself as an expert and to better serve your clients and also to help us advocate with positive and factual information. We hear a lot of negative misinformation uh, in the media and with consumers. And so if you're well-versed on what is going on in the market and you understand market metrics and information, you serve a purpose not only by improving and enhancing your business, but also by advancing the positive factual information in general. I'd like to just get started uh, with a clarification. There are different sources of information and it doesn't mean that if they differ, they are wrong. So um, the sources may vary by the date and time or criteria that is used to query the information. And sometimes it's refreshed, sometimes it's not. And, or it may include just member information um, for our association. So when you, when you see that and you see, oh, you know, the information differs from what was in the press release or what it, what's in the static reports, it doesn't necessarily mean it's wrong. You just need to know what source you're using. So let's get right into the tools and resources we offer. Everything I'm gonna mention today and everything we offer that's related to the um, market and to the statistics and related resources is available on sfmarketintel.com. We created this page a few years back to, to basically form a one-stop shop where members can access state, local, national information, international research, uh, widgets on uh, from realtor.com, related news coverage, and the schedules um, for releases. I mean, anything you can think of is on this site. If you ever think of something or see something that's not on here that should be here, and if we're able to add it, we will. So please let us know. So the comprehensive market reports are probably the reports I use the most and that I find most valuable. They include all market metrics including closing sales, pending sales, cash sales, distressed properties, inventory, months of supply. And there's a summary version and a detailed version. The detailed version includes a historical perspective and also segments some of the metrics by price range, which we know is very important and has been even before the pandemic because our market can perform very differently depending on the area, um, even sometimes the building and the price. This past year, we uh, revamped our market focus video and made it an animated infographic video. It still has a voiceover and sound, but you don't have to play it to understand it, which is great. And we also have the infographic themselves. We make these available for all of the counties where our members primarily do business. And we also include them in our market focus reports. And you can also access them again on SF Market Intel and on our social media accounts. In addition to the monthly reports, we do the quarterly reports. And a few years back, we really pushed for the zip code and city reports um, for the very reason that I just mentioned, because when you look at an entire county or MSA, it can be very misleading because different areas within the county or the MSA can perform very differently. So these reports are hyper-local. They include all of the metrics. And then we produce the hot market graphics um, and a news release to go with it. Um, so these hot market overview graphics, which we share on social media, are available, again, in the market focus report and on SF Market Intel. What we do is we look at months of supply. So months of supply is the best market metric to, to um, gauge market performance and the relationship between buyers and sellers. So if you know there isn't a lot of supply, and there's a lot of demand, it's definitely a seller's market. And so that's how we gauge this. So we look at areas that have a lot of activity and not a lot of supply. So low months of supply. 
And then we create these graphics. And again, we do them for all of the markets where our members primarily do business. So it includes Miami-Dade, Broward, Palm Beach, and Martin. And as you can see in general terms, these are areas where the, the price range is that mid price range or affordable price range. But right now, of course, everything is hot. The market focus e-newsletter I mentioned earlier, this is an e-newsletter that is a compilation of everything that was communicated, sent out the previous month. There are three editions, one for Miami-Dade, one for Broward, and one for JTHS. And it, it's um, the types of things that you will find there are, for example, during the pandemic, we started doing the pending sales and closed sales charts by week, um, then by month, and to determine a pattern. Um, again, all of the press releases, if we have new research reports, these reports, links to state and national as well, uh, new commercial information, everything is included in these reports. It goes out the first of the month. So for example, on April 1st, you will get the March market focus report, but the information, what was released in March is really February. And this can cause confusion. So I have members asking me a lot and then I get confused, but that's how it works. So the beginning of the month, we release the prior month's market focus e-newsletter because it's everything that went out that month. And, but that information that was released the previous month is for the month before that. Sunstats is a great tool. It is now available via our gateway. So you don't have to go to the Florida Realtors website. It's an interactive tool. It's not refreshed data. It is the same static data in the reports, but it gives you the ability to manipulate it. And you can manipulate the data um, by segmenting it um, by price range, by geography, um, and by metric. And you can compare like metrics, like for example, you could do, um, you know, prices in Miami-Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach and do different lines and see what the difference is or inventory, months of supply, any metric and compare it by geography. And you can download the spreadsheet or the graphs, the, the charts and the graphs, and you can uh, personalize them and co-brand them. So it's really a great tool. RPR is another great tool and our trainers can give you a lot more information on RPR. I know they recently had very good upgrades um, and I love RPR because it's very complete information. But for my purposes, the two reports that I usually look at are the market activity and the neighborhood report. So if you haven't taken a look at that, please do because it's very um, relevant information. And if you're a commercial, there's also a great commercial RPR with a lot of information about the area where the uh, business or the commercial property may be. We also include on sfmarketintel.com the widgets for realtor.com. And these are very useful. There's also an international one that they stopped producing during the pandemic, but that should resume soon. So we'll make it available once they do. But um, they still produce the cross market reports. And we have the widget directly on sfmarketintel.com. This is very useful right now because we have a lot of people looking from outside of Florida. So you can see who's looking overall. You can see who's looking from Florida or you can see who's looking from outside of Florida. So if you wanted to do, for example, a digital marketing campaign targeting those buyers in California or in the high tax, high density areas looking at our market, then this would be a great place for you to go and look and, um, and run the the, and rank the markets. And again, it's available for all of the markets where our members do business. A new initiative we've launched, uh, it's monthly. So on the day that we release the stats, um, we're doing leveraging market stats to boost your business. It's a series again, every month. It was uh, Fernando Arancivia's idea. He is our current chairman elect. He will be chairman of the board next year. He um, detected that in a lot of our market updates and market information events, a lot of the comments in the chat related to questions about the metrics and understanding the metrics. And so he felt it was important to do something like this, where we really explain why the metrics are important, what they really mean, and how you can use them in your business. And so I present the market statistic portion 
but then we have Fernando or another leader uh, serve as the actual practitioner expert to give you further insight. It's a really cool webinar. Again, it's on a different day every month. I'll give you more info on that in a minute, but it gives you a lot of background and insight into not only under further understanding the metrics, but how to use them. And then we present the latest on the market. So if you haven't caught this yet, please register for the next one. You don't have to uh, attend. You can just watch it later. So um, you're welcome to, to join us. The next one's on March 22nd on Monday. So um, the date, as I mentioned, changes every month. So I can't give you an exact date. But if you go to uh, sfmarketintel.com on the homepage under the press releases, there's a button for the schedule. And so you can put it on your calendar if you like and see when, um, when we, we're going to do the next event. It's either on the day of the stats or if there's a conflict for some reason, we do it the day after. So any questions you have, um, we are happy to answer. I wasn't able to be live with you today, but the trainers and our outreach professionals can help you uh, with any questions you may have right now. And if there's something that you'd like to discuss with me directly, here's my email address. And I'm also including our uh, di uh, communications director, uh, Chris Umpierre, um, and his email address. We're always happy to help. So if there's something that you're looking for on SF Market Intel that you can't find, or maybe it's something that uh, we don't have on there, but we may be able to get for you, please feel free to call us or email us and, and we are happy to look into it for you. And if it's available, definitely provide it. Thank you so much for having me and have an excellent rest of your day and weekend.